Good morning. We were at Castle Cove this morning where we've had 13 new apartments being opened up. Um, again, we've had six families, seven families and six individuals moving into their new homes. Uh, it was nice to have a chat with them and meet them and talk to them about their story. With one, one young lady, Joanne, had spent uh, nearly her whole life at this age in different kinds of care and emergency care and emergency accommodation. She's two young children and now she's in her, her permanent home now. And she's ready to restart her life and get them organised as well. So it was nice meeting her. She's going to avail of the support here, them I very trust as well. And uh, we also met Jade then, who spent the last two years in emergency accommodation and we've been here with her two children as well. So I made the point that to make very trust, this is just 13 houses out of the 8,000 that will be delivered this year through all the different partnership arrangements through our department, through the work of Minister Murphy is driving through the department in partnership with local authorities, the Dublin Housing, uh, the Dublin Homeless Regional Executive, with the McVerry Trust, with all the other NGOs as well. Every new home we provide has a different journey as well. This one, this, these, were, these were vacant properties, uh, took, took over and bought over by the housing agency. Uh, again, using the fund they have of 70 million to even vacancy properties, where they buy them over and then pass them out, out through the NGOs, through their approved housing bodies, through the local authorities as well. So it's a good story there, a good success as well. So compliment the housing agency for their work too, along with that department too. So overall, today's a nice news, a nice news day. We know we have a lot of work to do still. And again, it's something that I'm very clear on, so is on Murphy, so is Leo Bradker, that we can't uh, stop or roll back on any of our efforts until we have everybody found a home. Uh, and we have seen the figures last year, and we know, uh, last week, sorry, we know there's still over 9,500 people in need of accommodation, and that's our job next year, to make sure we can deliver those 10,000 homes and reach out to another 19,000 on top of that through housing support, so different, different nature as well. So it's ongoing work, but it's again to compliment everybody involved, and today it's, it's McVerry Trust are open these properties and manage these. We also launched our annual report, which looks back over uh, again a spend of 2017 of 24 and a half million 14 and a half million from the taxpayer uh, through our department through other different agencies and they also raised of their own money over nine million as well so good success here all around but we need to keep going and keep doing